You guys ever have a song that you just like one little portion of it and the rest of it you can be like, yeah, whatever, it's not a big deal. Well, that's what this episode's about today. <laughs> it's literally one line from a song from the best of faces and it's called Ooh La La. That's the song title. I wish that I knew what I know now when I was younger. This episode is all about that and a little bit more and hope you guys enjoy. The song title, Ooh La La. Interesting choice. This song spoke to me. I was setting this thing up and I was thinking, how am I going to tie this one together? What's going to be the glue that binds this one? And that song resonated with me. So I decided to bring it out. Now for copyright reasons, I won't go into all of it. I won't have it playing. I won't even have a link in the description. That's something for you to look up. If you really want to hear that song, that's on you. So I want to dissect that one line. The whole, the whole thing as to why I'm even talking about this today is I started thinking about the choices I've started to make over the last few years about facing, facing some of my fears and going over certain things that I used to just mock. And it started to make me realize these are all these things that I would make fun of because I was too scared to confront them. And my defense was to belittle them. Not to say I was above them, but more just be like, I don't need that. You know, just put that one aside, shelf it. It's not for me. And the one thing that I've noticed is that every single time I go to confront one of these things that I've either mocked or I've put aside, I've seen personal growth. Now, this isn't a coincidence. This is quite amazing. I mean, I could take it back to even just getting my driver's license. I was petrified to get it. So I would just say, ah, oh, I don't need it. It's too much money. And in truth, yes, it is. It still is. But the main reason why I didn't want to get it was because I was afraid of failure. I didn't want to fail and I didn't want anybody else to know that I failed. And I was terrified to be on the road. <laughs> so I would make excuses. So the last two years have been very interesting because I faced fears and things that I thought I would never do things that I would never think I was capable of. And so every time I hear those song lyrics, it's going to remind me of the things that I put aside and the things that I still need to confront. See, I got a list. It's like a hit list of all the things that I was scared of that I just shoved off. So now I feel like it's my next step in life is to confront them and start to go over them. And I can share and laugh with you guys about the things that I've listed. I mean, I, literally everything that I've made fun of, I've went and actually been a part of now. Now there's more to come, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take them each step by step, but know that that's, that's the answer. If you're still scared of things, you need to start small. Find something that you've been making fun of or something that you've been putting aside and start to analyze it again and be like, well, okay, well, why? Start asking yourself questions. Why am I so worried about that one thing? What's it going to do? How horrible is it going to be? You just need to start confronting that. So the main takeaway I want you guys to get from this whole entire episode, this whole little rant that I just went on, is now's the time to confront those things that you were scared of. Pick one. It doesn't matter which one. And work towards it. That is the cure for progress, is putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Pushing forward when you didn't even think you could do it. Understand that if I can do any of this, you definitely can. Anybody can do this. 
even if it means starting something like this or starting a diary. I mentioned before, I've, I've been told by many very wise and smart people, you should be writing things down. You need to track your progress. You need to have, a, have some form of, of document to your growth things that you struggle with before, then you can look back and you can laugh at it and you can analyze it. You can be like, oh, wow, this is where I was then. Here I am now, which ties that song back into it again. I wish I really knew back then what I knew now, what I know now. To go back and just be like, you got this. You just got to, you got to confront it. Do it now. Don't wait as long as I did. I'm almost 35 years old. <laughs> I got to start getting on it. I mean, there's another sign of me getting old. I literally got orthotics now. <laughs> I got those put in last week. You know, I've been getting some lower back pain and I've been wearing crappy shoes for a long time and not really taking care of myself that way. That was just another thing I put off. I think, ah, who cares? Whatever. It's not a big deal. I have tinted glasses now, the transition lenses. I feel like the oldest person alive. It's like, oh, the sun, the sun's hitting me now. So the sun's out to get me. My feet are out to get me, but I'm getting out on top of it. And I don't care what I look like. I'm, I'm willing to go and look like the old timer getting into his shoes and, and wearing his transition lenses. This is what we need to do. This is, this is just taking responsibility and not putting things aside anymore. Just do it. So before I wrap up, I want to go into a little bit more is, is to say that I want to change the name of the podcast. A good friend of the show, Tom Dutta, mentioned to me is, is now is the time to do it. So it's still kind of fresh. It's still, the show's still very young. Now would be the time to change it over. And I kind of want to start blending in more of my humor and the things I love and I'm passionate about and mix this with this. Now when I point to my silly head, it's more of my mental health. <laughs> it's somewhere up in there. I don't know which side of the brain is working right now, but I want to combine the, the two. I want to teach what I know and learn what I don't know and then try and shove it down your throat. No, it's, it's more of I want to share knowledge that I've acquired with you. You know, it, it's, it's that give and take. So I'm going to be working on a new title and hopefully I won't be too lazy and actually make a new, a new image for it. But just, just look out for it. And so that being said, thank you for listening to this week's edition of the Local Anxiety Podcast. That's a temporary name that is going to be changing. Uh, go hit a like on my YouTube or, or comment on my Facebook, anything like that, if, if you've even reached this far. This will be like a, this will be like a, a, a test. If anybody can, can endure the whole first part and made it to this part. I want to see anything in those comments. Maybe even give you some suggestions, some new names for the show that you think it should be called. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm open to it. I'm open to suggestion. So you guys have a great week and take care.